Other stuff on the ballot tomorrow. Chilton County is getting ready to make a big decision on Election Day, whether to legalize liquor through the entire county or stay dry, with only some cities allowing the purchase of alcohol. CBS 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens is live near Clanton. Brittany, supporters and opponents are saying this is a financial issue for different reasons. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jim. They're saying there is a trade off here. So, right now, I'm standing in Clanton, but if you take just a few steps out into the county, you lose the right to buy alcohol, and the county loses the tax revenue that comes with it. There are strong opinions on both sides of the debate. This church is very conservative, and uh, I believe most of our members would be against uh, the sale of alcohol. Those that are going drink are going drink, and uh, you might as well tax it. And uh, make the people of Chilton County uh, a little richer. Right now, Chilton County receives $320,000 from the Tennessee Valley Authority for being a dry county. It's a practice that dates back decades, but if the county passes alcohol sales, every dollar in tax revenue would delete a dollar from the TVA allowance. Supporters say taxes on alcohol more than make up for that. Well, the county needs it. They need money. They need to help build bridges, better roads for the county because, you know, nothing's being done with the roads, so it would help. But others say the consequences go beyond cash flow. You have families where uh, money is spent purchasing alcohol and they don't spend it on the necessities of life for their family. And so children suffer, spouses suffer, uh, and the churches are the ones who have to clean up the mess. Now, right now, it is legal to buy alcohol in Clanton, Thorsby, and Jemison. So, if you live here in Clanton or if you live in one of those cities, you are not able to vote on that measure tomorrow. Live in Chilton County, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News.